Hello. This is a video about some of the various ways I use plastic straws in my survival kits. To carry long items in a survival tin, you collapse them and encircle the edge of the tin, the perimeter. This would be, for instance, my tubing. Uh, you can use it to conduct water from one location to another, to use it as a very long straw uh, to siphon water from one place to another. You can put black electrical tape at this connection if you want to make it especially uh, watertight. Uh, so this is my tubing for my survival kits. I specifically make them so that they will fit a Altoids tin in this direction. With a salt container, uh, you may want to reuse some. What you can do is cut it to open it, dispense the amount of salt that you want, then here's how you can reseal it. Cut off a small loop and then fold this down. Stick the loop over it. And you have a sealed container. I'm using large safety pins. They're about 50 millimeters long, two inches. And I hope you can see this and that it's in focus, but here goes. The curly Q can hold a flat edge either from this side or simultaneously from this side. The flat edge is the flange mechanism up top. I like to keep a uh, glue stick inside so you don't waste any space. This glue stick's partly used. Just melt it under a lighter. This is a uh, milkshake straw. So here are the four bound together. So now let's disassemble it. So you stick the flange into the slit on both sides. Then you even up top to bottom. So they are the same rough length. And you keep building them. However, you have to do it the right way. This would be the wrong way. This would be the right way, because the flange has to hit the slit in both sides. That would be the wrong way. This is the wrong way. This is the right way.
there we go. Stick your glue stick in the center. Put it in the protective sleeve. The protective sleeve keeps the glue from sticking up the rest of the mini pack. And it also protects the safety pins from opening. You don't want these to open up in your pocket and poke you. Since Altoid tins are metal, they conduct electricity, so they're not the greatest container to store batteries. Uh, to help protect yourself from them shorting, I mean, they're not likely to, because they don't reach the AAA at least, both sides, but if there are other metallic items in your kit, you know, you never know when there's something going to accidentally short the battery from one side to the other and kill it. I've applied black electrical tape on the inside of this tin. I have no idea if you can see that in this video. Uh, that's to help protect it from uh, shorting. But another thing I do is I protect the batteries themselves, uh, also using a small piece of straw. I'm using a uh, one centimeter wide straw, not to be confused with a, a boba or bubble tea straw, which are bigger. Uh, we'll know you have the right size because the AAA fit just like that. What I've done is I've taken a small length of the straw and then this is a piece of shopping bag material. You can make these very easily by putting your your AAA battery against the shopping bag material, applying the short length of straw, and then either ripping off or cutting off the excess. excess. And then bingo, you've got a nice little battery protected, uh, cap protected end for your AAA battery. What's inside here, it's a straw that I have squished flat, and inside it are a bunch of waterproof matches. Just enough to start a couple of fires and then there's also a striker.